What's up? We got a few questions we're going to do here. So this is just some extra similarity problems. Yep. Let's go. This first one, you know we did this one in class. This has three similar triangles in it. And it can be kind of tough to see how to do it. We're going to redraw three right triangles. So I'm going to mark all the corners. We have 90s already marked for us, but this would also be 90. This would be, I'm going to put a one dot, and over here I'm going to put a two dot. Now, focusing on just this right triangle, let me change the color here. This gets real confusing, I know, but let's say we're focusing on just that triangle. If that's a 90 and a one dot, wouldn't this have to also be a two dot? The answer is yes. Over here, if we have the same situation, look at just this right triangle. If that's 90 and a two dot, wouldn't this little one have to be a one dot? The answer is yes. Okay, so getting your angles in the right place with the right dots, very important, my friends. Make sure you do that. And then we're drawing three right triangles, and I usually just draw them all facing the same way. I mean, yes, we want them facing the same way, but I just draw... You know, I usually make them look like this. Three of these guys, and we got to get the right angles, the right numbers, the right letters in the correct spot. It doesn't matter what you choose. I'm going to choose to make it go 90, 1 dot, 2 dot. 90, 1 dot, 2 dot. All three of these need to be the exact same configuration. That's the whole point of the redraw. Once we've done that, we can then go to each triangle. I'm going to focus on the big triangle, ABC. So if I'm looking at ABC, the one dot is A, the 90 is B, and the two dot is C. How long are those sides? A to B is X, right? A to B is X. B to C is Z. And A to C, the whole thing from A to C is Y plus 12. Okay, and then I go to the next triangle. I'm going to do this one next. It doesn't matter which order you do them in, but I'm going to go to this triangle now. Then one dot is A. The 90 is down here. The 90 is actually the letter D. And then the two dot is the corner B. Okay, let's get the numbers in. A to D is Y. A to B is X. And D to B is 9. So those are the three sides of that triangle. And then one more situation to account for would be this right triangle. That one dot is B. The two dot is C. And that 90 is the letter D again. All right. So let's get those numbers in there. D to B, D to B is 9, B to C is Z, and D to C is 12. So we need to set up proportions, and we know the most sides on this last triangle, so we're probably going to be using that one a lot. So let's just do some th setups that work. Let's say we're trying to solve, um, let's see, if we use 12 over 9, I could do 9 over y, right? Bottom over bottom equals left over left. If I'm going to solve this, I'm going to reduce first. 12 ninths is 4 thirds. So 4y equals 27, and y equals 27 fourths. Okay, we got the y down. We need x. Is there any good way to get x? Um, let's look. What pieces do we have? Here's, here's X. I could do 12 over 9. That would be Z over X. That's not super helpful. Um, oh, we know Y now. So let's plug in what we know for Y. Y is 27 fourths. So we could use that. Or, oh, what am I thinking? Guys, this is a big deal. This actually should have been the first thing we did. So, um, if the sides are 9 and 12... If you know two sides of a right triangle, you do Pythagorean theorem. This is going to be the square root of 9 squared plus 12 squared. That's going to equal 15. 
Okay, that helps a lot. This side's 15. Please, if you know two sides, do Pythagorean theorem to get the answer. We could do Pythagorean theorem here as well for 27 fourths and, and 9. Um, but that might be a little bit too wonky. I think proportions will be easier. So I'm going to set up a proportion. 12 over 9 equals 15 over x. I'm going to reduce 12 and 9 again. That's 4 thirds. And then that's all we got. So 4x equals 45. So x equals 45 over 4. Okay, we got x, we got z, we got y, we're done. Boom. We can do that. Here we have perimeters and areas. What is the ratio of the area? So let's check out what we have. We have a perimeter of 60 and a perimeter of 130. Remember that the similarity ratio is equal to the perimeter ratio, which on this problem is 60 over 130. That reduces to 6 thirteenths. The area ratio will equal 6 squared over 13 squared, which is 36 over 169. Got it. And then how big is that area? Well, we must use the area ratio. So we would say 36 over 169 equals 44 over x. That's small over big equals small over big. We can reduce horizontally. I can divide by 4 and get 9 and 11. Cross multiply, you would get 9x. Here's a little trick. If you have the number 169 and you're doing times 11, you can make the first number 1, the last number 9. 6 plus 1, 7. 6 plus 9 is 15, which would actually bump that 7 up to an 8. So I know 9x is going to be 1859. And then we're going to divide that by 9. And that will not reduce. So that would be my answer. I'm going to type it in just to make sure I got it right. But 11 times 169 divided by 9 is 1859 over 9. Perfect. Got it. Um, angle bisector situation, find CD. So I'm going to put X on CD. Angle bisector rule is side over side equals part over part. So that's the setup. Reduce, this would be 7 over 6. So 7X equals 60. So X equals 60 over 7. Parallel line rules. Every combination of left over right that you can dream of, every combination of left over right has the same ratio. And based off this problem, that ratio is going to be 4 over 6, which I'm going to go ahead and reduce to 2 thirds. So I can do 2 over 3. That's going to equal 5 over y. So nothing to reduce, so 2y equals 15, so y equals 15 halves. Sticking with 2 over 3, we're going to use that every time. That's the ratio of left over right. How would I get the letter A here? Good question. So there's a couple things we could do. What, what are they? Um, no, there's not a couple things we could do. We don't know that spot. So we could get this total and then use that total to get A. That's a little bit of work. Or the more obvious way, I think, for most people is this would have to be 15 minus A. Right? If, this, if both of these combined is 15, let's pretend that this was like 7. Wouldn't you do 15 minus 7 and call this 8? Yeah. Well, it's not 7. It's A. And we treat A just like any other number. So that would be 15 minus A. So 2 over 3 would have to equal 3 over 15 minus a. Nothing reduces, so we cross multiply. That would be 30 minus 2a would equal 9. So negative 2a would equal negative 21. So a would equal positive 21 over 2. And those are the only two letters there. Got it. 
And that's it for this little review. Loved it.